Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kaplan's Step 1 Q-Blast. I am Dr. Jason Fernasiak here with you once again with another clinical vignette. As always, we will go through the clinical, clinical vignette from beginning to end, focusing on high-yield take-home topics that will increase your scores on the boards and help you take care, better care of patients on the wards. Without further ado, let's jump right in. A 75-year-old man comes to the physician because of nocturia, urinary urgency, and a feeling that he cannot completely empty his bladder. Digital rectal examination shows a firm and large prostate. Bone scan shows a multiple hyperintense lesions in the vertebral bodies. Elevation of which of the following bone metabolites is most strongly associated with these lesions? Is it A, prostate-specific antigen, B, prostatic acid phosphatase, C, serum alkaline phosphatase, D, tartrate-resistant acid phosphatase, or E, urinary hydroxyproline? In this case, the correct answer is C, serum alkaline phosphatase. As you might have suspected, we are dealing with prostate cancer here. Let's review some of the key facts. Prostate cancer causes osteoblastic bone lesions, osteoblastic bone lesions. Remember that, that's important. Osteoblastic cells respond to metastatic prostate carcinoma by forming bone or osteoid, and they secrete alkaline phosphatase, which is thought to either initiate or facilitate the mineralization of that osteoid. The use of serum alkaline phosphatase is not for prostate cancer screening purposes like prostate-specific antigen, but for patient management and follow-up after treatment has been initiated. So it's a marker for the disease process. Recurrence of elevated serum alkaline phosphatase would suggest recurrence of tumor metastasis. High-yield takeaway points with prostate cancer. Serum alkaline phosphatase levels are used to screen for osteoblastic bone metastasis in prostate cancer. So when you see the osteoblastic uh, lesions on x-ray, expect the alkaline phosphatase levels to be increased. General screening tests for prostate cancer include prostate acid phosphatase or prostate-specific antigen, not the serum alkaline phosphatase levels, which are used to follow the disease process once prostate cancer diagnosis has been established. So that was this week's high yield take home points for our clinical vignette. I'm once again, Dr. Jason Fernasiak, and I hope that you have learned a few things that will help you as you take care of patients on the wards and study for the boards. Take care and we'll see you again real soon.